Hello and welcome to Apex Live, Oman's most popular online talk show. This week we are in conversation with Mr. Bill Hunt. And Bill is the Chief Executive Officer of the National Detergent Company in Oman. So Bill, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure, um, Mark. Pleasure. May, may I start by asking you, what does the National Detergent Company actually do? Well, it's a good question and a timely question for what's happening. We're really a chemical-based company, and we produce a number of cleaning products, which are cleaning, and I say that from personal cleaning, so personal care products, home care products, yep. and general antiseptic products. All manufactured in Oman? All manufactured in Oman. We okay. have six manufacturing facilities, but mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. is done mm -hmm. in country in Oman. Given the health emergency that we're all facing, what the National Detergent Company is able to do in the light of that uh, crisis? Yeah, the, what's happening is, is obviously of great concern. And it's something that has not just the attention of the National Detergents Company, but the attention of the world. Yep. And what, what we believe at, the, at, at NDC, we believe that we have a social responsibility. Mm -hmm. So we've been looking at what in our chemistry portfolio can be used to combat this current issue. Right. And how can we communicate that to people, um, what to do, how to behave, what products to, to use. And then how can we transform our existing installed capacity to produce more products that can, can help in the, in the fight of this topic, as well as um, produce more volume of the products we're already in, in production of. The National Detergent Company is in fact a, an environmentally conscious, science-based chemical company, correct? That's it. And, and, and in light of that, uh, are you able to offer any insight into these hand sanitizers and, and what actually is effective? Sure. Um, the, the challenge here is a little bit more advanced than challenges in previous times. And what we're talking about is a, a virus here, which is commonly called an enveloped virus, which means it's a little bit more difficult uh, to, to kill. And that is basically the idea, right. is through chemistry and personal behaviors to one, limit your exposure, and two, to, to basically destroy and kill this thing. And that's what our products do. So um, hand sanitizers, hand washes, these things make a lot of sense. One is soap, mm -hmm. and one is an alcohol-based um, antiseptic, if you will. And is it, sorry, is there a certain percentage of alcohol in that um, sanitizer that needs to be at a certain level? Yes, so there's two different uh, types of alcohol hand sanitizers. One is an isopropyl-based one, and right. one's an ethanol-based one. So it's two different types of alcohol. The ethanol one wants to be at a 70% level. That's its top efficacy, mm -hmm. so 70%. Um, the eth ethanol one actually is very effective at 62%. Right. Um, so the ethanol, in my way of thinking, is the preferred one. Mm -hmm. um, but both work very well, and they both have to be... So isopropyl at 62 won't, won't be quite enough, um, right. certainly something, mm -hmm. uh, but 70% for isopropyl-based products and 62 to 65 for ethanol-based pro products. How, how would you reassure people if they are, for example, visiting a pharmacy or a supermarket and you know, they can't find these products? Is that likely to be eased now as you're ramping up manufacture of uh, the, these sanitizers? Yes, in Oman for sure, um, but yeah. you need to protect yourself whether these products are available or not available, so right. there's other ways to do it. I want to show you that. Please. So um, hand soaps, which um, also could go in short supply, mm -hmm. um, but liquid hand soaps are also an excellent way to do the same thing. Right. Why? Um, actually, hand soap is as effective as sanitizer, yep. but um, we use soap and water, and the mechanical action of actually washing is as important as using the soap. And how often should you be doing that? Well, the, there are critical times to do it. Before you eat, which mm -hmm. is hands to face proximity, so that's a critical time, before you eat. Um, after you greet anyone, mm -hmm. um, after you've spent time with people, that's a good right. time to do it. Okay. Um, so there isn't a bad time to do it, mm -hmm. um, but there's the critical times, yeah. and that's before anything that's associated with food consumption, um, and, or uh, if you wear contact lenses, putting those in your eyes, if you're brushing your teeth, if you're combing your hair. So anything around uh, above the neck, anything okay. around your head area, that's when you want to do it. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. Um, and if for whatever reason these aren't available to you, um, you can also use even just a common dish soap. So one of our brands, uh, which was, by the way, voted one of the most trusted brands in, in the country, would be Bahar dish soap. So you can also use even just a simple dish soap. So if the sanitizer isn't available, mm -hmm. um, don't drop the topic. Yes. Move to yep. a liquid soap or an antibacterial bar soap or even your simple dish soap, and everybody has this under the counter. All households have some dish soap yeah. there. So that's a great option. So keep clean, basically. Yes, and that keep clean, can I run on that? Yes. Because I want to take this one step further. Okay. We think wash your hands and then you're safe, everything's good. But um, it's all about skin contact and keeping a virus from entering your body. Mm. Well, uh, one of the key points of skin contact is your clothing. Um, so, powdered laundry detergent, or in this case, liquid Bahar, are a way to do that. Now, these don't have to be antibacterial, they don't have to be antiseptic, none of that has to be called out here, because these run, when you do your laundry, either by hand or by machine, mm -hmm. these run at a pH um, that's very basic. So, in other words, it kills um, acid being lower, base being higher, so maybe 7 to 9. Um, seven being water, nine is a minimum you'll get with laundry detergent, could be up to 11. Have you, have you had to modify the, com the constituent elements of these products in light of this virus? Actually, no. Right. It's been something that helps the separation of the dirt from the clothing fiber, mm -hmm. and so it is something that's always been there. We're now ensuring that it's there and checking that just to make sure, but it does kill all viruses and bacteria. So the recommendation would be do your clothes every day. If you're out and about, uh, you know, people are out and about less, but if you are out and about, do the laundry. It will, the thing that has the highest touch with your clothes, with your skin, is your clothes. If those are clean, you're starting from a very good point. I wanted to add one thing if I could, Mark. Please. Okay, so we're also in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So a woman might be wearing a hijab, um, Men might be wearing headscarves as well. And in this case, you have something that's on your face, your eyes, for sure over your ears. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a potential for a contagion to jump to you. So in this case, it's particularly important um, to be, be doing the laundry, be doing it frequently. And so whether it's washing your hands or washing your clothes, these are key topics. Oh, well, that's all good advice. Yeah. And um, I'm sure everybody watching appreciates that. And, and thank you for that. It's a pleasure. On, on, the, on the subject of uh, clean, yes. um, obviously Baja is the sponsor of the Bitter About Litter campaign, which is all about cleanliness in the environment. Um, but what's all this about frogs? Well, I'll tell you. Um, first of all, we love Hoppy the Frog, and uh, Hoppy the Frog wears this Bahar logo, and uh, we appreciate that, and we really like partnering with Hoppy, um, and he's a symbol of the environment. He's a symbol of what we're trying to do to keep the planet in good shape, and uh, what we say, hop to the topic, right? Yes. And so the Beach Clean uh, programs that we're doing in partnership with Apex Media, and thank you very much for bringing us into this program. Great. Um, great to have you. Yes. It's, it's just something we feel great about as people. Um, but not only keep your hands clean, um, keep your clothes clean, but keep the environment in which we live clean and hygienic. Yes. Um, and it's, it's going to be a better earth for everyone. And we live in such a wonderful country, which is Oman. Um, it so, has such a natural beauty. And the mm. desire to be outdoors mm. is, is a part of life here. Yeah. Um, so just to be able to do that in a clean environment is so meaningful and we want to be a part of that as, um, as National Detergents and the Bahar brand. Um, we want to stand for social responsibility as it relates to the environment. And I think looking for positives in this current period, um, one would have to think that uh, a bonus, if you like, when we come out of the other side, which God willing will be soon, uh, there'll be a greater awareness of cleanliness, both personally and environmentally, let's, let's hope. Yeah, I think, I think you're right, Mark. And, and you also make a good point, which is um, we will come out the other side. One final question I have for you. Yes. Uh, obviously, you are in the chemical sector, um, but with 
Oil and gas, particularly oil being a very big part of the GDP in Oman, um, do you participate in that as a business? Yes, so the same types of chemistry that separate dirt from clothes um, or kill bacteria, that same separation technology is also used below the ground in the, um, in the oil extraction business where we have oil and water compressed together. Mm -hmm. We actually put our product down the well um, and that separates the oil and the water, oil being less dense than water floats to the top and then you can pump, pump off just the top. So it makes oil extraction cheaper. Um, you have less that you're taking out of the Earth's core, so we believe it's environmentally a better approach. Um, and it makes the products that come downstream then lower cost for people, so more affordable. Wow. Um, so it's uh, remarkably it's the same chemistry. That's no, incredible. Yeah. Bill, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Fantastic advice and very interesting uh, conversation with you. Thank you for coming to see us and um, we wish you every success going forward. Thank you very much for Apex Media, everything you do for, for Oman, everything you do for the environment and uh, it's a pleasure always to see you. I was going to shake your hand but I think I need to. Okay, we'll do it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs>